All right, come on. I promise this is the best idea I've ever had. Come on. You know, I've heard of this place. This must be the king's castle. <laughs> Doesn't look like much of a castle to me. <laughs> what is this? He's got a car lot here now, trying to sell some cars, the king's lot. Come on, come on, come on. This is gonna be great. The lover boy is going to go inside the home of Jerry the King Lawler today. Come on. Matt Good morning. Riviera? Yeah, I'm here to see the King, Jerry Lawler. Does he know you're coming? Well, if I told him I was coming, then he wouldn't be here. So I decided I'd stop in, little surprise, pay the king a visit. Um, hold on just a minute. Wait, you're not gonna let, you're not gonna let me in? Um, hold on. Manners. I'm gonna invite the lover boy in his house. Hey, king. Good to see you. I didn't wake you up, did I? I figured you'd been up since 4.30, reading the paper, drinking coffee. What do you want? Well, I came here to see you. About what? Look, King, I came here to deliver a message. Did you get the note with the stipulations of our match coming up in Little Rock? Yeah, I got it. You got the note? Yeah. Well, I came here to deliver a message. I gave Boyd Bradford the day off. And I came here to personally tell you, Jerry, that whatever you've got in your mind for Boyd Bradford for that five minutes, you need to take that out of your mind. And you need to start thinking about, you know, Jerry, I, everyone knows that uh, you've got a little foot fetish. Oh, God. <laughs> and you know that after you lose to the lover boy, you're going to get to pucker up to this size 12 right here. You may even make your fiance Lauren a little Jealous, maybe, when you start tonguing the toes of the lover boy? So that's, this is what you've come over here for? You've come all the way from Arkansas to my home here in Memphis, Tennessee, to tell me this? Well, Jerry, first of all, I've been in town for a little while down at the Peabody, which I'm pretty sure you've been kicked out of a time or two. I was down at the Peabody in their top suite with two or three of the most gorgeous women that I had to actually bring from Arkansas from Little Rock because the quality of women in Memphis isn't quite up to my standard, Jerry. So I just assumed, you know, while I was in town, I'd just pay you a visit, hang out a little while. You're not, you're not going to invite me into the, the King's Palace today? Um, let me think about that. No, I'm not going to invite you into my house. I don't even know, want you on my front steps here. Now, if you've come all the way to give a message to me from Boyd Bradford, let me give you a little message for Boyd Bradford. He's not going to have to worry about me kissing your foot. And you're not going to have to worry about that either, Matt. Because what I'm going to be doing for five minutes after our match is over is kicking Boyd's butt all over that arena. It's January 13th, right? January 13th. Yeah, okay. Yes. I, and, you know, it'll be right after the New Year's. And I always do a big New Year's celebration. I'm looking forward to that. So this, I can't think of a better way to start my 2018 off on the right foot. And it's going to be my right foot sticking up Boyd Bradford's butt. Do you understand that? First of all, though, and during that five minutes, I'm going to pick him up just like I did Andy Kaufman, and I'm going to drop him on that flat head of his a few times. And then, you know, I, there's another thing I'm kind of famous for. You ever heard of the King's fireballs that he throws? I might just light Boyd Bradford up, too, during that five minutes. I got a lot of good plans for Boyd Bradford. And you know what you're going to be doing, Matt? You're going to be sitting out at ringside watching, licking your wounds. Now, there's going to be no foot licking. You're going to be licking your wounds after I kick your butt, and you're going to be watching what I do to Boyd Bradford. So I hope you enjoy that, and I hope, more than that, I hope you get the hell off of my front steps and go back. What would you drive over here, anyway? Is that your limousine? Jerry, don't worry about what, what I drove over here. You know, this is, a, this is a sad case, Jerry. I hate to see you in this condition. The dementia's setting in. You're, you're falling apart. 
Really? You're falling apart, Jerry. Is that right? I don't know how you can think in your mind that you're going to kick Boyd Bradford's butt because I, I've got news for you. He is not Andy Kaufman, and I ain't Bill no, Dundee. You're right. This, this is the lover boy, Jerry. And you think that you're going to beat me and you're going to get five minutes with my manager? Yeah, that's You've exactly another, what I think. Let me tell you, that's coming. exactly what I think. Do you think for one minute that I would have signed a stipulation where I had to get down and kiss your stinking foot if I lost? Thinking that I might lose? No, there's no chance of that happening. So that's what I think. And you can call it dementia, you can call it Alzheimer's, you can call it anything you want to, lover boy. But I tell you this, January 13th, you're not going to love what happens to your boy, boy Bradford. Now, can you please leave? Well, Jerry, or do I have to call the cops? Now that we've got the business out of hand, we can, now we've got business aside, Lauren, we can, we can uh, hang out now. Can you get my come phone? In, put my feet up. We may have to call the cops. Well, Jerry, we no, don't. No, you're have not going to go come back, in and put you know, your foot up. No. I, actually, I think that. Um, uh, you know, now that I think about it, I think I had a, a, another meeting in Memphis. I'll tell you, I think I'll just, um, I'll just go handle some more business today. Oh, and, I'm sure you've uh, got a lot of business I, in I, Memphis. I know you've got to go. I know you've got to go drink coffee with your good buddy Bill Dundee and and talk about the old days. So I'll just go back to the Peabody and and get off your uh, house. Thanks. Idiot.